Hi friends, I am Satvik Tangud. Today, I am going to discuss a problem in code forces. And the problem is 110B, named as lucky string. Here, Petty allows lucky numbers. The lucky digits are 4 and 7. And the digits formed using 4 and 7 are also the lucky digits, such as 47, 744, 474, etc. Here, Petya recently learned to determine whether a string of lowercase Latin letters is lucky. They also told that the absolute difference of any two adjacent numbers is a lucky number. For this, we should discuss an example. We will take the example as given in the problem. In this problem, the positions of every letter every letter was mentioned as the position of B was 2 and the position of C was 3, 10 and the position of D was 4, 8 and the position of Z was 1, 5 and 9. As given the absolute difference of any two adjacent numbers is a lucky number. In the, we will use this in the case of Z. When we will take the two adjacent numbers 5 and 9, when we do the absolute difference, we get the difference as 4 and the 4 is a lucky number. And we will take two adjacent numbers 1 and 5, we get the difference as 4 and the 4 is a lucky number. When we take the, in the case of C, we, we have 3 and 10. When we do the absolute difference, we get, we get 7 and 7 is a lucky number. And they also mentioned that the letters A, G, H, Y are empty in this example. So they also given that when a letter is once in a string, it doesn't affect the string's luckiness. Here we should find the minimal lucky string whose length equals n and the input was n the n is the length of the short string and the output was the minimal lucky string whose length equals n and the input was given as 5 and we got the output as a b c d a when the input was given as 3 we got the output as a b c so now we will get into the code. Here we have used three libraries and we have declared uh, i and idx as an int and we have declared the n as an int and we have initialized n and we have used an character array and the array named alf any example we can use and I have given the array size as 4 and I have kept the uh, given the values a b c d and I have scanned n I have read the value of n and I have used the for loop and we will discuss the truth table for the for loop the truth table contains the values n and i and idx and printf So, we will take the example n as 5 and we will go into the loop. When we go into the loop, first time the i becomes 0 and the idx also becomes 0 and the printf prints the values a. When i becomes 1, the idx becomes 1 and it prints the values b. And when we go to the i becomes 2, idx also becomes 2 and printf prints the value c and when i becomes 3 idx also becomes 3 and it prints the value d when i becomes 4 idx becomes 0 as yes, 4 percentile 4 is 0 and again prints the value a a. When i becomes 5, it exceeds the loop and the loop will be broken and we get the output as a, b, c, d, a. So, we will run the program and we will see the output. We 
will give the input as 5 and we got the output as a b c d e now we will check the output was a lucky string or not c a b c d are 4 distinct so we have no bother about it when we see a it repeated 2 times it is in the first position and fifth position so when we see the absolute difference the difference is 4 it is a lucky number so it is a lucky string and we will see for another case 3 we got the output as a b c these are three distinct letters so it's a lucky number so this is the solution for 110 b thank you